Hey there, StarCraft fans! It's Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Remastered! Today, it's going to be Solkey versus Ample here on Eclipse, another RJB replay. Top right, it's going to be Solkey. Bottom left, it's going to be Ample. Both of these players are ASL qualifiers. Solkey made it to the round of eight in the last ASL. He got knocked out by JYJ, but there's no shame in that because JYJ is in the final. As of the recording of this video, he, maybe he wins ASL. I don't know. I can't tell the future, but... Anyway, Terror the Overlord moving out. Yes, I hope you had a good weekend. I had a good weekend as well. Went to the Nickelcade with my kids. Which is just an arcade where everything used to be a nickel, but... <laughs> Inflation caught up with it, so now it's like two or three nickels, or sometimes even four. Ah, inflation. A constant in our lives. Is this... Is this a pool first play? Okay. Alright, pool first play here from Solky. It's a nine pool. Hmm. So, early aggression here from Solky. Ample. Just trying to wall off uh, the expansion here on Eclipse. Dun, 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 extractor tricking. Wait, hold on a second. Did we do an extractor trick? We had to, right? That's the only way to get 10 supply out of 9 available. At least at this stage of the game. <laughs> Steve the SCV moving out. Steve the SCV shirts available at Falcon Paladin dot store and Terror the Overlord merch also there. Six lings on the way at two minutes. Steve the SCV, good thing you're scouting. But uh, this is pretty much a hard wall, right? Yeah, yeah. Steve the SCV says ah. Zerglings! Okay. They don't want to kill me, so I'll just go ahead and scout and see what Sulky is up to here. Extractor on the way. Second hatchery on the way. And yeah, hardwalling it here with a uh, supply depot and a marine behind the barracks here. <laughs> Pulling two additional SCVs off. Oh. Wait a second, can you get through here? If you're a worker, you can. Uh, that's gonna take a while to make take down that lurker egg as Zerglings, that's for sure. Rawr, rawr, barracks. Are we gonna repair the barracks? Are we gonna repair it? Uh, no, no, I guess not. Just leaving it on fire. All right, that's okay. Hmm, so Lair on the way with the first 100 gas. That is expected. And yeah, just a nine pool into a two base mutilisk opening here. Ah! Terry the Overlord. Terry. Terry hiding. Terry is hiding. So is it safe? Is it safe to lift off this barracks and kill Terry the Overlord? Says Ample. Maybe. Ample's expansion is coming up. Everything is A OK. -okay. And Steve the SCV still scouting, this time with a fistful of minerals. Do -do 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 -do. But he's gonna die. <laughs> Juking, nice juke. Uh, backed yourself into a corner here. Ah! Wow, nice slip through there. Steve the SCV has a career as a running back if he survives this, but nope. He will not survive this. Come on, Steve, you got this thing. You got this thing on the other side of Engineering Bay because of the incredible. Oh, the jukes. Ample kept that thing alive way longer than I thought he was. Second gas? Nope. So, looks like we're probably just going to go for five or six Mutalisks this time. Not a huge number like Solky would go for. Okay, I lied. I meant, I said Solky. What I meant was Soma, the other S Zerg player who's elite. And also qualified for ASL. And also, I think, got defeated by JYJ. So, man, TV, uh, TVZ pretty strong for JYJ right now, I gotta say. Anyway, Academy coming in after the Engineering Bay, going for a plus one t attack timing with Marines, probably. Probably getting some medics out here as well. Macro Hatch, though. 
Spire on the second gas is getting taken, but the Spire is halfway done. I don't know. You know what? Second gas getting taken at this stage still tells me it's going to be a bunch of mutalisks here from Sulky. So we're good. We're good to go. Stim getting research. We know how the TVZ works. We're all very big fans of how TVZ is going to be Marines and medics and stuff and all sorts of fantastic mutalisk harassment and probably some lurkers later and maybe ultralisks and who knows maybe some battle cruisers that seems to be something we're seeing on the channel a lot recently in tvz's and sometimes they actually win holy crap not all the time i feel like their win rates in tvz's on my channel is not very good but here we go so it's going to be uh, six seven mutas i wasn't too far off on my five or six muta guesstimate there but taking this gas definitely implies we're going to go for a few more than the five. That's kind of the minimum here. If you go all the way for a two-base mutalisk opening. If you do that and don't pick five or six mutas, what are you doing with your life? Ooh, flyer attack indicates we're going to see a bunch of mutas here. I like it. Very Soma-inspired. Barrick's going to lift off and join his friends despite the fact that he is on fire. His friends are like, dude, seriously. You gotta put this fire out, man. It's embarrassing. He's like, I know, but I can't do it on my own. In the StarCraft 2 campaign, actually, there is a perk you can get where buildings that are on fire will put themselves out. Like, there's little fire suppression systems, which I think is pretty cool. I mean, for a balance, it doesn't really make sense for balance, but... For the futuristic Terrans, it makes a lot of sense, right? Right, okay. Metabolic boost finally getting started after fire attacks begins. Holy smokes. Sulky is not prioritizing Lings here whatsoever. Any sign of a third base? This is traditionally when you want to get a third base. You're keeping the Terran player at home. You're making him worried about losing SCVs. Although, I don't know. He's got enough turrets up that he probably doesn't have to worry about this too much. In fact, he is moving out with his Marines and his Medics. Scanning to see if there's a third base up here. No, there is not. And he says, okay, good. If we can deny the third base of Sulky, it makes us feel pretty happy. So... Gonna have to do something about this army if you want to get a third base soul key. And the longer you wait, the worse it's gonna be for you here. I like the engineer or engineering bay. I like the evolution chamber next to this macro hatch. That's for sure. He's like, is there a third base down here? No. What the? What the Dickens? What is going on here from our guy soul key? What is soul key up to? He's just making mutalisks, man. He's got a ginormous flock of them. He's gonna come back in for some more of the harassment. But by golly, you're taking shots from three missile turrets every time you get a in range of that mineral line it's not great now four sunkens is enough to handle this many marines and medics this is a little bit too much for three obviously good read there from soul key sneaking the third base up here would be pretty cool scv says did he expand up here no uh okay so apple's feeling great you guys know that uh it's not a neutrogain ad but it's basically somebody spoofing kind of a neutrogain ad with the i feel great guys it's a mid-2000s classic. It really is. Uh, I mean, that thing got shared around a whole, whole lot back from 2004, 2006. Somewhere around there. Some of you maybe weren't even alive in 2004, so get off my lawn, young whippersnappers. But, yeah. So, seriously, though. Third base. Sulky, you're killing me, man. Where is it? It is a bunch of mutas. Kind of, yes. And by that, I mean, yeah, there's 11 here. The plus one attack is going to finish up here soon. He really wants to wipe out this army. Okay, here's the drone. So the drone is going all the way top left to expand? Mm, uh, yeah, Ample just kind of dodging around. Really doesn't want to engage here whatsoever. Okay, so Sulky's going to take... This is a weird place for your third base, man. I do not feel good about it. Why not get something you can defend with, like, two lurkers? This is... It, brrr, this is way impossible to defend with two lurkers. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Okay, so, uh, yep, big engagement there. Does wipe out a few Marines. A lot of Lings died there, too, based on the blood splatter. Ample pulling back a little bit back home. Again, SK Terraning. This is what Terrans do these days in StarCraft. It is the meta. I know a lot of you guys love mech, and I love mech, too. But, man, SK Terran is just the way to go. You can win games with it. Good scan. Okay, so he says base up. I guess, man, could you just beeline up there and kill it? I feel like you could. I feel like that's totally viable for Ample right now. Just go wander up there and kill that thing. The friggin' Hydralisk Den isn't even done yet. Yeah, just go. La 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 la. We're just going to the top left to kill your third base, and that's just a game-winning strategy. How We've seen ZVTs on this channel where the third base of the Terran, or the Zerg player dies, 
And that's it. This is pretty scary, though. Ling's coming in with the Mutalisks, trying to accomplish a lot. And by a lot, I mean a lot of dead Marines. Medic's dying here, too. Firebats trying to fight the Lings. The Lings are trying to fight the missile turrets. Marines coming out of these barracks and dying. And then Apple says, okay, we can hold this, right? Maybe. I don't know. There's Lings inside the natural base. There's Lings inside the main base. SEVs have to fight. Mutas have to fight. Ample says, uh, we can bust through this. I, I don't know. I'm not convinced that, okay, it is a lot of Marines, in fairness. They have one one, they have Stim, they have the range upgrade. I'm really shocked you just didn't go for the third. This is a I'm trying to win now move. He scans, sees the four sunk, and says, let's get it. I don't know about this strategy. A lot of lings are dying there. They didn't take many Marines with them, if any at all. Sunken's going, gajonk, gajonk. Gajong, that's the sound that they make. The Mutas have to engage here because otherwise everything else is going to die. All the Sunkins are dead. The Marine count is still pretty healthy if you want to kill a bunch of drones here. And in fact, he does. Oh my, Mutalisks are dying, but Marines are going down too. The trades are real right now. And okay, Sulky barely holds on there. Good grief. All these medics surviving would be super cool, but I don't think they can. They're, a bunch of marines would have to be coming up here. Did he just make a... He just made an ultralist cavern. On Okay, technically it's three bases, but crikey. Dude, this is really bad for Ample. The good news is he's up 44 to 29 workers. That's pretty awesome. But kindness plating got started, so the marines are not going to have a great time with that. Science vessels, however... Totally will. They like Ultralisks. They're a good target for Irradiate, and they're big and chunky and fat, so they're easy to select. Not like those little slippery defilers that you can misclick and not click on sometimes. Because of that, Scourge up to try to deal with that. This has been a pretty scrappy 11-minute game so far, so yeah, be sure to check out RJB, right? Check them out at youtube.com slash at RJB underscore TV. Throw him a sub, leave him a comment, let him know Falcon sent you. He is a great guy. He is supplying me with so many great replays and has for many years now. All right, first Ultralisk coming out. Just one. One Ultralisk is not very good against this many Marines with plus one attack and plus one armor. Plus two is on the way. Uh, okay, so now you're deciding to take down the third base. Run. Run. Come on, you can do it. He's trying not to get all lined up here against this Ling Muta stuff, but he kind of has to. So, yeah, guys left behind. All right, so Sunken goes down, trying to save it. Nah, man. Third base dead. Okay, so look. I know it's really simplistic, but anytime a third player base of a Zerg player goes down and it's EVT, I just feel like that's it, man. That's your ball game. We're 12 minutes into it. Yes. If Solki can pull this off, I'm going to be beyond impressed with this. More scans happening. Just trying to see. Are there bases here? There is a base here, which this SCV also scouted. So, trying to get a replacement third base, but dude, you're trying to go Ultralisks on two gas. You can't. You cannot afford enough Ultralisks to really be, like, effective with the Ultras on two bases. It's not happening. It's 49 to 29 workers in favor of the Terran player. 106 to 70 overall supply. Like, this is just... Yeah, look at this. He doesn't even care about these Ultras. Hang on a second, though. Maybe the Lings and the Mutas and the Ultras combined can get some work done. Defensive Matrix is up. Firebats, whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. all the Lings are dead. The Ultralisks are dead in a puddle of their own blood. Ling run by, though, into the main base. Okay, this has been kind of a familiar position for these Zerglings in this game. This is our second home, they say. La la la, killing SCVs. Trying to maybe bring it even here. He has Adrenal, right? Yeah, 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 he's got the Adrenal. Okay, good, so we didn't skip Adrenal glands. Thank goodness for that. But the problem is they don't have the greatest of upgrades, so SCVs are murdering them. All right, another big group. Defensive Matrix on another Marine. Medics falling behind here. Fire bats against Ultras, or I guess they're just tanking damage more than doing it, right? Absolutely true. Defensive Matrix going up instead of Irradiates, which, you know, honestly pretty smart, right? How many times have we seen Irradiated Ultralisks cleaving through groups of Marines, especially if they've been plagued? It's tough. It is a tough look in that situation that you irradiated the Ultralisk that is just destroying your own Marines. So third base is up. Solki has it. It's taken some damage, but otherwise doing just fine. Thanks. Nidus Canal on the way. The good news for Solki is that Ample doesn't have a third base yet. 
I mean, Ample's up into every conceivable metric possible, but he doesn't have a third base. So that's good. Why don't you just irradiate a Zergling? Okay, I guess that's fine. Irradiated a Zergling. This guy's like, I guess I'm a scouting ultralisk now. Into the main base with me. Hmm, yes, a lot of Barrett. You still have two starports you're working with. Ooh, I don't know about irradiating with all your SCVs here, my guy. 29 to 41 workers here. Ultralisk just kind of running, bouncing around. He's going to die to this irradiate or, you know, getting shot in the face. That was probably a shot in the face combined with getting irradiated. This third base dying for so... That's, I mean... What did I say about third base is dying a second ago? Has anything changed since then? No. Not even a little bit. All right. Irradiated Ultralisk dead. Irradiated Ultralisk dead. Sunken. Oh, coming around from the backside. A handful of lings. Defensive Matrix Marine holding this thing. But yeah, that Sunken's dead. This Sunken's dead. That's it. I just Ample's playing super well here. And Sulky going for that early pool and getting absolutely nothing done with it certainly has not helped him win this game. Not even a little bit. Hold on. This ultra. All right. Nidus is getting. Okay. He's saving the third base. So he's not losing it for the second time in a row, and holy crap, the number of medics that have died in this game is way too high. It's got to be like 20 medics that have died so far, but reinforcing units are here from Ample. Charging up the ramp. Boxer maneuvering some of these uh, some of these drones. Boxer maneuver the Ultralisk. Oh, hang on. Or just die. That's good, too. Bam. Kabam. Dude, the hold on this third base has been pretty killer. There are no drones here at all. This Ultra's got seven kills. He's feeling pretty good. This is so scrappy. 80 to 54 total supply. Scrap, scrap, scrap-tastic TVZ for you today. Woof. Hit that like button if you haven't already. This is amazing. This is some really good stuff. Third base can land for Ample. I don't think Soul Key can really allow that to happen, so he's got some links to shut it down. Irradiated Ultralisk. Preventing units from coming up here to support. I like the one science vessel boxer maneuvering here. Or eraser maneuver if you guys don't like boxer. Who doesn't like boxer? Oh! He killed the scourge with the irradiate damage. Oh, that's so cool. I mean, I'm not going to get this one, but that was awesome. Dude, it's 25 drones right now. This is not... This is not a game that Sulky is doing very well in. And perhaps might actually end up dead. I, I just... I don't see a path forward. We're only at 17 minutes. I mean, he's got the right pieces. He's got Adrenalings. He's got Ultras. They have Titanus Plating. He's working on plus two attack, right? He does good. This is fine. This is all good and fine, but it's three, three Marines, man. It's Defensive Matrix, and it's Irradiates, and it's just... Wow, is it not enough to kill that guy? That guy's dead. All right. More Defensive Matrix coming in quite possibly. My gosh, more Medics getting obliterated, and when they die, they certainly explode. I mean, the micro's not amazing here. These marines are not exactly getting pulled back or anything, but... It's just one ultra is not exactly something to be terrified about if you have a ton of marines, you know what I mean? Like, look at this guy died. He just got shot in the face and died. Third base, uh, more... Okay. This single science vessel irradiate play we're seeing here from Ample is kind of amazing. It's gonna die. But, dude, it's 29 drones to 40 SCVs. Third base happily running. It's equal base count. Ample is just kind of ruffle stomping here, isn't he? At 19 minutes. Soul Key, just Small numbers of lings, small numbers of ultras. Ooh, he's got the science vessel over the ramp maneuver. With two medics holding position there. Oh, and you can't target the medics because the science vessel's in the way. That's such a cheap play. It should be illegal. Come on, Apple. You can win this game without that cheap maneuver. 
I guess if you A, oh, if you A move, they're going to prioritize the Marines back here, not the Medics. But if the Marines not there, they should attack through the, uh, they should attack the Medics, right? <laughs> like how that SCB passed through and got like one healing. Yeah, see? See, see, see? Nom, 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 nom. And okay. So the trick is shut down because there wasn't a Marine for the Ultralisk to prioritize targeting on. This Ultralisk is super dead. Got irradiated. Not get in the mineral line with your irradiate. Let's go. So 40 SCVs. Oh boy. Okay, this is actually pretty ter. No. Oh, he's dead. Never mind. I thought he was going to live. Dude, did you seriously just let more Lings and Ultras run into your base? Soul Key? Okay. If Soul Key somehow magically manages to win this game, it's because Ample is allowing Lings and Ultras to run into his main base over and over again. This is the third or fourth time this has happened. I don't understand it. Soul Key cannot win in a direct engagement, but run buys. Oh, he can do run buys. Don't worry about that. Dude, this third base is in an immense amount of trouble here. Wait, there's a medic somewhere in here. Uh, two medics, actually. Uh, but the, the marine is dead anyway. Okay, so look, we're on... <laughs> it's a three-basing Zerg versus a kind of three-basing Terran at 21 minutes. This has been scraptastical. One of the scrappiest games I've ever cast. This has got to be why RJB sent it to me. Sometimes he gives me reasons. Sometimes he's just like, this is a good game. You should cast it. Because he's a nice guy like that. Dude, it's 24 SCVs after all of that chaos. 24! It's 30 drones to 24 SCVs. Dude, Sulky is actually kind of sort of pulling even here. If not being a tiny bit ahead. I mean, being up six workers in a ZVT just makes you feel okay. Doesn't make you feel amazing. Dude, this third base is dying again. Dude, more SCVs are dying. This engagement on the right side is, well, Ample's pulling back, which means we can just get into the main base again, probably? Like, probably? 30 to 20 workers here in favor of Sulky. Sulky is scratching and clawing and fighting and doing everything within his power to possibly win this game. And getting deep into the main base of Ample is a pretty good way to do that. 30 to 19 workers. It's 19 workers for Ample right now. And he's on three bases. And sure, Sulky's also on three bases. Mm, maybe considering getting a fourth base somewhere, but this SCV is making sure it doesn't exist. He feels good there's not a fourth base up here. Like, so, 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 so beautifully, beautifully good. We just scanned a lot. Scan, scan, scan. He's like, are there bases? Do you have a fourth base somewhere else? Where's your army? Let me throw down a million scans real quick. Yeah, it's just this one ramp you have to defend. The army... Oh my gosh. Sneaking in again behind the army. Now that ultra is getting really focus fired by a giant concave. Yeah, it's just... No, 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 no. Back it out. Back it out. Not what we want to be seeing here from Sulky. 29 to 18 workers. Zerg up. Fourth base on the way from Sulky. Dude, if he... This would be an astounding Soul Key win. I still would not put any money on him winning this thing. Because it would make no sense if he did. But man, Ample, you just can't let Lings and Ultras run free inside your main base three or four times in a 20 minute game. It's not something you can be doing, my guy. Yeah, I feel like most every direct engagement we've had here today has been a win for Ample, including this one. Because that's three dead Ultralisks. This guy's going to die if he insists on engaging with this, which he kind of does. And uh, he'll take some Marines with him. Well, he's already down in the red. This third base, Lings keep running by here to see if they can sneak on in. No. This Ultra with all of his 21 HP is making sure a fourth base doesn't come up from here from Ample. Another scan. Just trying to see where the Ultras are running around up here. Scan good unit. Uh-oh. This looks bad. Ample, like, making a decision to just engage here and try to get up and win this game now might actually just... This might just be a hammer blow 
We're looking at it. We're staring at it. There's one sunk in here, not four. Not that four would really matter with three, three Marines at this point, but oh uh, boy. All right, so Knight is Canal getting focused. Ultralisk dead, Ultralisk dead, Ultralisk coming out, GG! And Sulky taps out Ample is your winner. Ugh. All right, so Terran fans were sweating there a little bit. They were <laughs> like, uh, wow. That was a pretty darn good game. Thanks, RJB, again. Woof. So Ample had three bases at the end of the game. This was super, super, super scrappy. He had 18 SCVs at the end of the game here. The SCV medic uh, trick here worked, I think. And Ultralisks were just not enough. Were there? Wait a second. Were there any defilers in this game? I just realized that there weren't any Dark Swarm, no Plague. Yeah. No Defiler Mound. Okay. It's hard to win a 25-minute ZVT versus SK Terran without a Defiler Mound, but Sulky tried it, and he failed. <laughs> Hang on a second. We're going to speed this up because we need to get the final score for reals. But yeah, hit that like button, man. Terran fans... Probably hitting that like button. They're definitely feeling a little bit nervous about things. But in the end, Ample gets that win. Solky gets knocked down. This third base location, I don't understand. And it died. Like, why not just put it here? I don't get it. I just All I can think of is that he was trying to hide it, but it didn't work very well. And then this base was in a lot of trouble. And fourth base from Solky was really hard to get today. And I don't think he ever did. And... No Dark Swarms, no Plagues. Ample's like, thank goodness for that. Wow. ZVT with no Dark Swarms and no Plagues is like heaven. 152,000 points to 136 in favor of the Darren. He uh, out... Yeah. Got outproduced by like 16 units and outkilled by 50 or so. Resources are not good either. Uh, yeah, Sulky did outspend Ample, but only by about 2,000 resources in 25 minutes. And that's just because Sulky never really got a fourth base up. <sighs> It's insane. It's really, really crazy. <laughs> man, man alive. I mean, just an insanely, insanely good play there from Apple. But can you feel like super good? About the fact that you beat Sulky when he didn't make a single defiler? You need to feel great about it? I guess. I guess you can. <laughs> All right, good. So that is going to be it for me today. This has been Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Remastered. Go ahead, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself.